Lecture 4.4, Modeling and Optimization. This is Scouts Rest Ranch. It's where Buffalo Bill Cody went during the off season when he wasn't touring with his Wild West show. It's located in North Platte, Nebraska. A classic problem. You'll find some variation of this in every calculus book. You have 40 feet of fence to enclose a rectangular garden along the side of a barn. What is the maximum area you can enclose? We look at an aerial view of the barn, where this is the barn, and this is the fence. If we let the width equal x, then the length would be 40 minus 2x. So the area is x times 40 minus 2x, which is actually width times length. If we eliminate the parentheses, and take the first derivative, a prime equals 40 minus 4x, and set it equal to 0. We have 0 equals 40 minus 4x. 4x equals 40, or x equals 10. So there must be a local maximum here since the endpoints are minimums. One endpoint would be when x equals 0, so picture the fence just stapled on the side of the barn, and the other endpoint would be when x equals 20, which means the fence would go straight out and straight back with no area in between. Therefore, this one must be the maximum. So the width is 10 feet, the length is 20 feet. Note that because this is a quadratic, we could have solved this problem without calculus, knowing that the original function was a parabola. If we plug these values in to the expression for the area, we get the area equals 10 times 20, or 200 square feet. To find the maximum or minimum value of a function, step one, write it in terms of one variable. Step two, find the first derivative and set it equal to zero. Step three, check the endpoints if necessary. Example five, what dimensions for a one liter cylindrical can will use the least amount of material. Now, I know motor oil comes in plastic jugs now, but it used to come in metal cans. We can minimize the material by minimizing the area. So the area used for the can is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h where 2 pi r squared is the area of the two ends, and 2 pi r h is the lateral area, that is the circumference times the height. We need another equation that relates r and h. We know that volume equals pi r squared h, that's the formula for the volume of a cylinder, and one liter equals 1,000 cubic centimeters. So since we want the can to hold one liter, we can write the equation 1,000 equals pi r squared h, 
or 1000 over pi r squared equals h. Now we can substitute in our new expression for h, cancel a pi, cancel an r, and now we have an expression for the area in terms of one variable, r. Now we want to minimize the area, so we need to find the first derivative. We get a prime equals 4 pi r minus 2,000 over r squared. We set the first derivative equal to 0 and solve for r. So we add 2,000 over r squared to both sides. Multiply both sides by r squared. Divide by 4 pi, and take the cube root of both sides. So we have r equals the cube root of 500 over pi, or r equals approximately 5.42 centimeters. Now we know this is going to give us a minimum amount of material because the endpoints of this equation don't actually make any sense physically, that is having a radius of zero or a height of zero. Now we can plug our value of r into our expression for the height, and we get a height of 10.83 centimeters. So the most efficient shape is the shape that would fit into a cubic box, so the diameter and the height are the same. Notes. If the function that you want to optimize has more than one variable, use substitution to rewrite the function. If you are not sure that the extreme you found is a maximum or minimum, you have to check. If the endpoints could be the maximum or minimum, you have to check those as well.